I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and uh, this, this is one of the special pianos that we have here in the shop right now. We actually have a few of them, um, and this is definitely right there um, with, um, among, the, among the best pianos. Um, it is a uh, 1976 Yamaha C7, a really, really special piano, and, this, and it is in perfect, perfect condition. We always try to um, have one, a C7, because they're so popular and they're so good and they en endure forever. Uh, and and uh, we can't always get them because they're, because they're fairly sought after. But, uh, but we're lucky enough to have one right now. This particular C7, cosmetically and functionally, is in perfect condition. It's been completely redone. Uh, so even though it, uh, it is a 1976 originally, Everything about it is perfect. I mean, not, not just A condition, A plus both, again, cosmetically and functionally. Okay, seven foot four is, is what, uh, is what this, this piano is. That's a, that's a big piano um, and it booms. It has some serious power and the, which, which is by the way, the, uh, one of the reasons among, among others, the, the tone and the touch, everything, that recording studios, whenever I go and, and do, a, a tuna, do a tuning at a recording studio, if it's, if it's anything but a classical recording studio, if it's a serious studio, they will have a Yamaha C7. Same with stages, conservatories, um, uh, piano teachers that are, that are really, really serious piano teachers, a lot of them will have, will have Yamaha C7. Um, just, a, just an all-around very popular instrument for, for a long time, probably a good maybe 10 years, 15 years. This was my dream piano to one day have a, a Yamaha C7 in my home. Um, it, uh, and now I would say maybe my, my tastes have um, expanded and I would say that this piano would, would still be among them, among, among the, the uh, great pianos that, uh, that I would love to have in my home, um, but it's not the sole instrument. Um, okay, this particular piano, uh, let's, let's look at it. Uh, you can see everything on the inside. It looks like it's brand new. I mean, immaculately clean, perfect, everything redone. Let's look at the, you can see the tuning pins and the plate, everything perfect condition. Soundboard, the strings. In fact, if I, even, even as a piano, as a very experienced piano technician, I've been working on piano since 1995. I suspect I've worked on over 20,000 pianos in my career. If I didn't know based on um, uh, the, the uh, what I know about this piano, if I didn't know that it was a 1976, even with my experience, I would look at this and say, yeah, that piano's probably brand new. Uh, it, that's how it appears. Okay, really, really good looking satin finish, which, which is also, which is my preference, personally. Let's get a shot maybe of this, uh, of this lid. Again, just to emphasize that uh, cosmetically it's in perfect condition. This piano, by the way, brand new. I think, I think the Yamaha lists their MSRP for this piano at like $80,000. Um, I, think, I, think, I don't think they actually sell for that. Um, I wanna say you might, you might be able to get you know, $10,000 or $15,000 off of that, but still, um, at least $60,000, $70,000 for this piano brand new. And, and this piano uh, functionally and how it will endure is, uh, is essentially brand new. Okay, typical Yamaha sound, very bright and um, powerful, great projection and a powerful bass. I hope that's coming through on this video. That's the reason that this piano is so popular, so sought after. And sustained 
forever. That's a great piano. This, uh, yeah, couldn't say couldn't say enough about this. I think you could I think you could go out and find a brand new one, and and there's a very very high likelihood that it would be no better in really any regard than than this one that is like a, a fraction the price of a brand new one. Same with I would I would make that same statement. I realize that's a very very bold statement to make. And I actually don't make it about all C7s, but this one I, I absolutely do. Uh, I, I would also take that bold statement and stretch it even further and say you could go out and find a, um, one, a performance grade piano um, or pianos that are known as, as, the, as the prestige pianos like a, um, a Steinway or a uh, Fazioli or a uh, Sauter, Petroff. Mason and Hamlin, those kinds of super high-end pianos that are going to be even more than this piano brand new, you know, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars, whatever. These pianos are going to be a hundred, a hundred and twenty, or in the case of Fazioli, you know, on on up even higher. And it's still going to be, if it's going to be better than this one, it's going to be only marginally so. Uh, yeah, bold statement. I realize this piano merits it. Come check it out. The, the address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem, or uh, you can call the, uh, call the store at 801-701-0113. Thanks for watching.